Hi, everybody. I was looking to see how long I had to film. I got plenty of time. Um, we're going to do the Magnolia Craft Club for March. This is the Easter banner. Um, and I should have done this a week ago when I got it. So this is the instruction sheet. These are still available when I looked yesterday. Um, that tells you how to put this together. Every craft club kit that you get from Magnolia Design Co. comes with every single thing that you need. Not just certain items. You get everything right down to the squeegee, the inks, or the uh, chalk paste if that's what it is. Your stencils, which this one has four. Two different colors of inks because we're putting it on a banner. And this is 10. Um, they did update it. So some people actually got 12 banners in theirs. Mine is only 10, but I'm still going to make it look pretty. It does, it's going to look pretty no matter whether you got 10 or 12. It's just that they did something different. This comes with, like I said, already put together. So all you have to do is do it. You get a bunch more jute to make a tassel. I may or may not do the tassel. I might make the tassel just to show you how to do it. But most people already know how. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this out of the package. Um, I'm going to save time by not doing that on video. Okay, everybody. I've gone ahead and I've cut my bunnies and eggs apart. I've labeled the backs of these so that I'll know which one goes back to onto these on the right side because one side is shiny. That's the side you want to stick these back on. And I also have gone ahead, opened my um, inks. There's fuchsia and emerald. And um, I have a little lid here that I can't find the bowl to anymore. I probably microwaved the bowl and it, you know, got all squishy and I tossed it. Um, I also have a couple of our little stir sticks. Um, you can use, like, the back of a plastic spoon or whatever if you want. And I have a, an array of little squeegees laying here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my banner, find the end, because this is going to take and be a process. We're going to get, well, you're probably going to only see three at a time. I have four out here, but I think you're only seeing one, two, three. Well, I can't quite get all four in the screen. So we'll go with what you can see and um, start from there. So I think what I'm going to do is bunny, egg, bunny, egg, bunny, bunny, egg, and then work the other direction that way. I'm not putting them too close together. And when you put these on here, you want to make sure that your ears are below the little lines. So I'm going to go ahead, and if you fold this back, you can get a hold of the corner It'll pop right loose. I'm not going to fuzz these because they are going on fabric. So I'm going to put my little ears so that they fall behind, below. Now he's off the little thing. But this is a tight, tight fit, guys. There we go. And then spread that out. I'm going to go ahead and do that with each of these, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, first things first is I'm going to put just a little dab of this fuchsia on here. And I'm going to start by working on this bunny. Make 
sure we get him all covered. Need just a bit more for him. Not a whole lot. Well, I guess that wasn't quite enough. I absolutely love these kits because you get to do something new, something different. Especially if you're a new creator, you get to try their newer products, get to try to do new stuff. I'm just not sure how much to put on there. There we go. Make sure he's completely covered. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this off and we'll reveal the first bunny. So cute. Let me drop this in my water. And then come back. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and do um, the green bunny. Grab a different squeegee. Now that I have an idea about how much it takes. This one should go much, much quicker. There's that one. And this one, I think I'm just going to make stripes, guys. There's that. Let's do a stripe up here. And then let's do a fuchsia stripe through the middle of this one. Get a little bit more on there. Got a hole here, a little bit there. Get those areas taken care of. Come on, just a dab more. There we go. Now let's go ahead and look at the green bunny first. So stinking cute. Let me put this in the water. Dry my hands. Let's take off this egg. Like I said, it's a learning curve and I don't mind the mix. That's kind of cute. I like it. It reminds me of actually dying Easter eggs. How stinking cute. Because if you guys ever dyed Easter eggs, you know they're not going to be perfect. Let's scoot this over so you can see what I'm going to do with this one. Let's see. I think this flowered one, I'm going to try to do a rainbow. Let's do this. Let's just do like that. Oops, I had this leaking all over. Well, let's grab that. Let's put that here.
And let's just go with a little skinny line of green right up through here. like so and let's get a little bit of pink to put between there gonna kind of almost give it a tie-dye effect bit more pink there we go you're actually not supposed to use these to spread with but it was already on it so let's go ahead and reveal Cool. I could have gotten a little bit closer, but I've never done these before, guys. <coughs> All right. I'm going to show you something else really cool that you can do because we're already at 12 minutes. I want to keep this short. Um, and we're going to let this dry so that I can finish my banner. I'm going to move this. I'll bring you right back. Okay, guys, I have two surfaces that I bought at the Dollar Tree, and I have repainted the edges of them. This is like natural wood. This is the um, chalkboard one that stands. And this is the other one that is chalkboard that has just this little thing like this. So I'm going to take the same stencils that I just had, and I'm going to put a bunny rabbit on one. And an Easter egg on the other and I'll get them and I'll be right back when you use surfaces like this you want to make sure that they're not too sticky and these are kind of still sticky because they were just used one time so I'm gonna defuzz this just a little bit and I have a cramp in the bottom of my foot and we want to make sure that we center mr. bunny rabbit here because he's a close fit in the center there, make sure we have all the air bubbles out, especially up here by the ears where he's going to be really close. I have a cramp in the bottom of my foot, so I'm staying here wiggling for a reason. I am going to use this pretty pansy. Now this is chalk paste, and it's pretty, pretty good yet. Nice and has a nice consistency. That's what you want. And you want, if this looks like it's getting too thick, you can give it a couple of mists with um, some, um, oh, distilled water. This shouldn't take too much. And I'm just going to use the pansy. And this is the same stencil I just used. I washed it, dried it on the drying side of my um mat that I have and I think I had an air bubble right there guys We have the bottom of the bunny. Save any paste. We're going to lift and reveal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 
white little cotton ball puff on his bottom side. Put this in the water. Let it sit in there a minute. Oh, lost my towel, so that's okay. And with the egg, I don't want him just laying. Make sure it's the right way. Flat, I kind of want to sit him crooked. Kind of like that. Now he's still kind of sticky. Let's center him. So he's kind of about right there. And the egg, I'm going to use the daffodil. And it looks nice and creamy. I love that. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? I just wanted you guys to see that you can reuse your stencils on any surfaces. Even if the outside of the edge of the stencil stains a little bit, which I kind of hurried. Let me take a edge of this bigger squeegee and just kind of so it's not so many lines like that. I'll clean that off. And I'm going to lift the edge and reveal my Easter egg. How cool is that? Let me put him away in the water if I need him unstuck from my fingers. There we go. All right, let me dry my hands off on my britches. They're clean. And always make sure that you Get your inks and your paste sealed. Okay. I wanted everybody to see how easy it is to reuse your stencils to make other projects on other surfaces. And these are so stinking cute. They're going to go on my faux mantle over here. And I'm going to go ahead and finish my banner. Try this again without coughing. Okay, so I'm all done with it. And I have ink left over. Both colors. Not as much in the fuchsia as I did in the emerald. But, um, yes. Fold them over. Put a, some kind of clippy thing on them. Put them in a Ziploc bag and save them. And here is them finished. And yes, I have a couple that have like on the edge there. I don't know if you can see that. But you know what? I almost like it. It's kind of like distressed. I may go over the flags, the pennants, and do that with each of them. Or one here and there. I kind of like how that turned out. I really do. So they're going to continue to dry until tomorrow afternoon. And then I'm going to iron them to heat set them. And then um, with parchment paper over top and parchment paper underneath on each one, um, that will heat set the ink and then they won't ever um, wash off. So that's what's got to be done with them yet. I'm not going to put a tassel on them because they're going to go around my fireplace and I don't want a tassel on them. But y'all can look up how to make a tassel. Um, so with that being said, I might touch them up with a little bit of color. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, I just needed to get this filmed. I'm dead tired on my feet. 
Um, but it is what it is. And I have so many videos that I need to get filmed and get up. And anyways, guys, thank you for watching. And I'll talk to all of you guys down in the comments below. Bye, everybody.